Okay, the moment you've all been waiting for. Project actions. How do I distinguish my project actions from all my other next actions? Not only that, but how can I keep all those project next actions under one project when they can have many different contexts? In the GTD Bonsai template, all next actions have parents that serve as contexts. This is how the system is set up. This allows for very quick zooming in and out of your next actions and your contexts all under the header of next actions. However, there currently appears to be no way to be able to distinguish next action items related to specific projects that may be part of numerous contexts from your plain old regular next actions. Or is there? In a few minutes, what you will see is a listing of all your project next actions and their project names in a nice list. So, how I'm going to demonstrate that to you is by first going to the filter for projects. When I click on the projects filter, what will happen is all the next actions that are related to projects will display. Now you can see that there are two next actions that are related to projects. Now, how does the filter know to do that? Well, the answer is, and the key to this whole thing, is the contact custom field. I'm going to go into this one particular next action by going to the details and you can see in the contact field it's a custom field meaning that I can write anything in it I wrote parking because parking is the project now I click OK and we're back to our list of projects now let me click phone company and just verify that with you that it too has information writ written in the contact field and click OK now we're back to our list now you look at this you can see that all my project next actions are listed but you you might say to me you might say well Fox this isn't very useful true I see only my next project uh, my only my project next actions but I have no idea which project they're coming from that's true this is where views come into play views allow you to see certain columns displayed for an item a very useful view for a project filter would be the name of the project and the task. Now I created a view that displays a column for contacts, in other words projects, and text, in other words next actions. When I activate this view you will see a list of projects and their next actions. So now I'm going to click on my view list and you can see there's one labeled projects. So like I said, when I click on this, this is going to show me these very same project next actions along with the names of their projects. Boom. Voila. There are the project names and the next actions. This is how I'm able to filter project next actions from all the other actions. Now, this may seem to require a two-step uh, two process because I, I had to initially click the projects filter on top and then click views but what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this view off keep it for the default and I'm gonna take the filter off let me collapse this one of the disadvantages of coming out of this view for projects is your things your your next actions become all expanded and you have to you know collapse them all so what I'm gonna do is now instead of doing two steps of selecting the filter and then selecting the view I'm just gonna select the view because what the view allows you to do is it allows you to associate a filter with the view so that it automatically pops up so when I click on projects it's automatically gonna pick the projects filter and there you have your list of next action projects 
along with your next actions. Thank you for thank you for taking the time to view this video. Please visit my website at palmorganized.com for news and updates. You can also subscribe by RSS or email to get the latest info. There are more developments on the way. My hope is to create a rich Palm community, and you are instrumental to that. So I welcome you to join and tell all your friends, and I look forward to speaking with you guys next time at Palm Organized.